This MapTitude video tutorial will introduce you to buffers and overlays. You use overlays to estimate the attributes of one or more locations based on data in another map layer. For example, you might want to find the demographics within 5 miles of a bunch of stores. In this case, I will choose the store layer from the drop down list in the standard toolbar and click the overlay button. I'll enter an overlay size of 5 miles and click OK. MapTitude will calculate the demographics and store them in a new table. I'll name that table Overlay Results and click Save. If the data view is not visible, you can choose Window, Data View to see the results. I'm going to click in this Name field and lock it so it's always visible and then scroll to the right. Here is the estimated household income within 5 miles of each of the stores. If I sort it, you can see that the highest income is for the population around store 10, and the lowest income is found around store number 7. If I scroll to the right some more, I'll see the population information. And we can see that almost three quarters of a million people live within 5 miles of store 9, and about half that, 366,000, live within 5 miles of store number 8. Buffers are another tool for estimating attributes that also allow you to visualize the overlay area. We will again use the store layer and click the Create Buffers button. There are several options for creating buffers. The Fixed Size method lets you specify one or more sizes for the buffers. For instance, we might want to look at the population within 1, 2, and 5 miles of my stores. We can also choose whether or not to calculate an overlay for the buffers on the Overlay tab. Now enter a name for the new buffer layer, MapTitude creates the buffers, displays them on the map, and since I chose to create an overlay, we'll also open a data view with the overlay results. This time I'll lock this column, and we can see, if I scroll to the population field, that 300,000 people live within one mile of one of my stores, another 800,000 live between one and two miles, and five million people live within two and five miles of my stores. It is also possible to create separate buffers so that you can, like the overlay tool before, compare the populations around each store. So again, I'll click the Buffers button, and again use Fixed Size. This time I'm just going to create single separate buffers of 5 miles and compute an overlay. MapTitude adds the 5 mile buffers around each store and again if we look at the data view we'll see the results. And if I scroll to the population field and sort it You'll again see that close to three quarters of a million people are within five miles of store nine, and the fewest are within five miles of store number eight. You can also build buffers so that their sizes encompass a particular target. For instance, we might want to build buffers that encompass 100,000 households. To do this, again, we'll choose buffers, but I'll choose the build to value option. Enter 100,000 and choose Households as the field. I need to check the separate buffers band. And again, we'll compute an overlay. Each of these rings contains 100,000 households. In areas with many households, the 100,000 household buffers are smaller, such as around store 3. And in less dense areas, they're larger, such as around store number 8. And if I open the data view, you can see that you only need to go out 2.73 miles from store number 3 to encompass 100,000 households, and you need to go out 5 miles from store number 8. There are two other methods for creating buffers. If the layer around which you are building the buffers has a field with information on the size of the buffer, you can choose the variable sizes option and choose the field from the Sizes drop-down list. You can also choose Evenly Spaced and enter a minimum, maximum, and interval. For example, we can build from 0 to 10 miles 
at two mile increments. And I'll uncheck the separate buffers box and click OK. In this case, we can see that almost the entire Los Angeles area is within 10 miles of one of the stores. This wraps up the tutorial on overlays and buffers.